Hi, my name is Evelina Hernandez Barba. I'm Camila Ibarra Mondragon. And I'm Ashley Viviana Gonzalez Montiel, and welcome to The Mix. So today's episode, we're going to be talking about um, where our families are from and how we differ, just because we're just different depending on where we're at. Okay, so I'm from Cuernavaca, Morelos. Oh, I'm from Michoacán, from both sides. I'm from Yorapan, Michoacán, and Tepic, Nayarit. Okay, so... You're from Michoacán. Both of your parents are from Michoacán. Where exactly from Michoacán are they? Uh, well, actually, they're both from the exact same place. It's in a little rancho near the city, like, named Tepalcatepic. And it's not very populated. But the thing I do like about it there is that, like, their food is so much different. Because I found out that, like, the foods that your mom makes can be really different from the ones my mom makes. And also the accent's different, so... Like, sometimes I say things, and I'm just like, because they make fun of me because I have, like, a, I guess it's a southern accent, in, like, over here. That's basically what I have. Yeah. Okay, and then, Ashley, you said that you're from Tepic, but from what side? Like, what side of your family's from Tepic? Um, my dad. And my how's... mom's from Europe and Michoacan. Okay. How, how, how's Tepic? Like, um, tell us a little about it. Okay, the, comparing Tepic to Europe and Michoacan, it's very different just because Europa and Michoacan is more poor. <laughs> Don't laugh. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, the peak is more, there's a lot of more people there. And it's very, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's prettier. And the food over there, it's, they only eat fish. Everywhere we go, it's no más pescado, ceviche, there's nothing now, it's just fish. Pero, porque estás en la costa, right? Yeah. Pero, sounds like you don't like. You don't like your mom's side. You don't like Michoacan no, that no, much. No, no, I, I like Michoacan. It's just compared from my dad's side, I don't go to Michoacan as much. Is it better scenery? Is that what it is? Or? Well, that too, but I think my family from the peak I'm a lot closer to. Mm-hmm. Porque in Michoacan, everyone's a lot younger or older, so then I'm just there. Yeah, what is up with that? Everybody in Michoacan, <laughs> there's like a huge age gap. What? Like, yeah. Why? It's like, it's a little weird. I don't know. There's like, I guess there is an age of consent, and I think it's 16, but they don't care. Like, my grandpa and my grandma are at like like 18 years apart. Like, yeah, my grandpa <laughs> like held her as a baby. and <laughs> yeah, It was really weird, but it's like, apparently it's cute. But I'm like, I don't know about that. But yeah, this, I guess they just don't really care over there. It just, it's a go with the flow kind of thing. Yeah, but because oh, it's so small, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. You guys are, like, not even, like, I, I find Michoacan to be, like, not even, like, in, like, society in a way. You guys know what I mean? Like, they're so, like, yeah. they're, like, their own little, that's, like, a whole other little place. It's yeah, really it's hidden, like, kind of. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like, like, it's just, self-isolated. like. Self-isolated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, when I was going over there, I was going on a plane, and, like, you look down, and you only see, like, specks of lights here and there where the cities are. Yeah. But everything else is just plain, like, desert. Yeah, like, puro cerros. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. We're in talking about your side. Oh, well, I'm, I would say I'm just, I'm basically smack down in the middle of Mexico. Nobody knows where, nobody knows where Morelos is at, and that's the whole last state. No, like, nobody knows where Morelos is at, but um, I'm really close to Guadalajara. Like, so you guys, yeah, you know, yeah. you guys know where, like, Los Martin, yeah. And um, it's, El Estado de Morelos, it's small, but it's not, like, ridiculously small. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's small, but, like, not, like, oh, that's small. But not that many people know where Morelos exactly. is. Exactly. Um, and not a lot of people immigrate from Morelos here either. They usually go to, like, Colorado, you know, Texas over there. Yeah, I yeah. think that's kind of cool that, like, in different areas of the U.S., there's different parts of Mexico there. Like, in California, I've heard there's a lot of people from, like, Guerrero and Michoacan and things like that. But in Texas and, like, Colorado, I know there's a lot of people from Chihuahua. Yeah. Just, like, the northern area. But, like, it, it makes sense because it depends on, like, where, like, you are on the border. Like, like someone from, like, let's say Morelos is not going to travel across all of Mexico practically right. just to, like, cross Tijuana. Like, there's no point when you can easily, like, just, you know, cross, like, straight ahead. Right. So that makes, makes sense. Um, okay, so now that we got into, like, where we're at and like people know exactly like somewhere around the region where we're at 
Let's talk about food wise, because I know our foods are definitely different, like yeah. very different. So, uh, we were talking about this the other day at lunch, but I want to start with enchiladas. Yes, because. No, I try to be making them real weird. Like. <laughs> it's not weird. Well, I mean, for me, it it's was not normal. weird. Okay. I, I find like you were talking about it, and I was just like, whoa, like you put chicken in there. Yeah. But and I, you put onions I, in there. No. What? So it's like a mixture of like it's sugar, it's vinegar, and it's uh, onions. You just put it in there, and then it's like on top. That's where you put like oh. things, but there's no meat involved with it. No. And I know you guys do. Put meat in it. No, <laughs> that's that's she's like, whoa, no, hold it. No, I know people put it in their oven. oven. <laughs> like people make enchiladas and they put it in their oven. Yeah, they do. My mom did that one time, like not even like a week ago. She did it, and I was like, eh, that's kind of good. <laughs> okay, how do they make enchiladas at your place? Because you made a face like, no, no it's okay. <laughs> We're from two different parts of Michoacan. Well, you guys are from two different parts. Yeah, we're like, like five hours apart, technically. Okay, no. We we put it with carne, but if not that, it's just con queso and like cebolla. But I've never heard of that. Wait, but before we go, I have a, I had a question for both of you. When it comes to your pozole, do you like green or red? Because we had a talk about this. Yeah, this but like answer. green? No, you're talking about clear. Like no, it's green. It's I've it's green, 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 but green. it's clear. It's oh, green. I think I know which one you're yeah. talking about. My it's, mom makes the red one though. Oh no, so it's it's fine. the green one. It's green. <laughs> the green one for me they're both good i like both of them yeah i just had pozole actually just yesterday i just had pozole yesterday it's good i had pozole yesterday my mom made some the other day but it was for work and i was like oh okay (laughs) no yeah but um yeah no you guys make enchiladas and how do you make them i would say like a normal basic person well it depends because there's different normal basic person yeah yeah, like you know (laughs) it's because okay i i guess i should have mentioned this earlier but my mom lived in Guerrero for a while. Oh. Because okay. my da- my my dad. Uh, <laughs> what? My um my grandpa was a banquero. Like he worked at a bank. Yeah. So No really, Evelyn. Yes, yes. <laughs> so he made mad money. Let me let you know. My mom used to be rich, guys. She used to be rich. Uh, she was living that good life. She was. Like okay. they could have paid for her like university, but she chose to come to the US instead. <laughs> yeah, my dad came here because he couldn't go to high school, man. <laughs> no, my mom finished high school. They, for us, my parents had to go far to, like, into the city. I think it was Morelia, which is kind of far from yeah. where we were. Yeah. And they had to pay. Yeah. And there was 12 of them, so. Oh. But, yeah, yeah, no. So, my mom lived in Guerrero for a while. So, she kind of, like, sometimes, like, I've been catching her lately, too. Like, she'd be putting some of that Guerrero stuff into her food. I'm like... Okay, she's but, style food. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like our enchiladas. Okay, so we do enchiladas rojas or enchiladas verdes, or rarely we make enchiladas de mole. But I don't like mole. Yeah, I don't like mole, guys. <sighs> it's nasty. Mole is gross. Oh, if you like mole, stop. <laughs> no. This is why you're gonna fall down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so if mama makes enchiladas verdes, then it's just. The chicken, well, it's the tortilla. You dip it in that, like, the basically chile. It's just chile licuado. And then you put that chicken in there. You roll it up. And then you put crema. Yes. And then you put queso. And then you put lettuce. And then you put, um, like, after that, you kind of just put whatever you want. After you want to put salsa on top or not. But, yeah. And then if you have them rojas, it's practically the same thing. It's just red. With, like different. the tomato sauce. Yeah, the sauce is different. Yeah. But, um, and then if they're mole, it's just the nastiest, like, mole. Like, uh, you know, I just found out that you use chocolate to make that. Oh, my God, woman. Oh. I found that out, like, a few months ago, and I was like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> so then you put, yeah, for, like, the mole ones, it's like you put, like, the meat, and then you roll it, and then you put the nasty mole sauce on top. So. <laughs> no, plus, you already said it, like, twice. We get it. You don't like it, Evelyn. No, it's because, okay, down. think about it. Like, mole is literally, like, it's literally chocolate with like piloncillo and then like yeah. like spices like oregano. Like no, that's nasty. Like you don't mix your sweets and salty. I don't I'm not a I'm not a woman that mixes their sweets and salty. It's rare when I mix it. So yeah. that's just gross. And it tastes like you guys know what cal is? No. You guys know what cal is? No. You guys <laughs> really don't know? It tastes like cal. 
Oh, thanks. Okay. Thanks yeah. for the oh, Okay, I'll tell you guys what Kyle is. Um, Kyle is that thing that, the, it's like this, like, I swear, it's going to sound so weird when I explain it, but it's like <laughs> cement. It's like cement. You've tasted cement? No, it's not like little cement. You heard cement. it here, guys. No. I, cement eater. <laughs> no. It's, okay, they use it to make, like, they use it to make like masa and Wait. stuff. They use it <laughs> <I'm> to inspire. <laughs> they use it to make masa and stuff. Like it's like this like powder. It's like gray. And oh, I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah. It's fun to play with. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's that it's that thing that gives like that powdery texture oh, at the end. Yeah. They also use it, I think, for the mais when you're oh, like yeah. making pozole. Yeah, yeah. yeah, cal. Okay, I yeah. didn't know what it was called. Okay, I knew what you were talking about. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have a question. You you were talking about queso when we were talking about enchiladas. When you guys come back from oh from Mexico, okay. <laughs> um, what what is one thing your parents always bring? Porque my parents have like a whole bag of queso. Yeah, that, just, que- like, that queso no. with the red border on it, with the red border. No, like oh, no. queso, like quién sabe qué. It's like a big piece of queso, and it's then they had to blocks. like yeah. yeah. No, no, no. My grandma does bring <laughs> back queso, but she brings is this certain. I think it's like queso poblano, maybe. Yeah, the outside is like it's red. Yeah, it's, it's like red. Red chile on the outside. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> you so like that? I love cheese. It smells. I love milk. No, it but smells it so good. It tastes so good. No, my mom doesn't like it with the red on the outside. Yeah. So she gets the normal. My grandma brings like it's just a maleta. Yeah. Filled with just <laughs> blocks of cheese, yeah. like this big, and we. I'm like, mom, why? <laughs> yeah, I know it's so weird. <laughs> Could have brought yeah. anything else, but they wanted to guess. I mean, my dad brings me candy from Mexico. Oh yeah, sometimes. my grandma brings me candy all the time. Like Good. bags, though. Like yeah, yeah. That's because they're cheap over there. Like obleas. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Those are good. Yes, I love obleas. Okay. That was it for today's segment. Thank you for watching. Uh, come back to the next one. Bye.